Hi everyone, welcome back to T's Journey. My name's Tanya and this is my journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification down there and share. Today I'm coming with you preparing a quick vegan meal. This is a meal I prepare when I'm in a hurry or need to get something to eat real quick and quick, cook quickly. It doesn't take long to cook. And Rick is on his way over and I told him I have dinner ready for him. So I'm, I have this meal. It's a very simple meal. But before I show you this, something came today and I'm so excited and I want to share with you all. I can make my own almond milk or any kind of plant milk. I bought this gadget online and it's called... It is called Almond Cow, the plant-based milk maker. I am not getting paid for it, but I'm so excited. I saw it on another YouTube. It shows you how to make it. You can make any, make your plant milk. And even, you can order, I ordered the almond cashew pieces. And I'm going to order the whole grain oats and coconut, even though I can get that. But this, you can make your own creamer and your own milk. And you also can make a lot of recipe. I bought the recipe book with it also. I'll show you that later down in another video when I actually use it. I'm so excited it came today. I can make my own milk, my own almond milk, cashew milk, my oat milk, soy milk, any plant-based milk. So I'm excited about that. Now getting back to my recipe. Um, this is something really quick I um, make when I'm in a hurry. Usually I use the porter, the big portobello mushrooms that come in strips like meat. However, I've been gone for a while, so I haven't had, I really don't have a whole lot of fresh produce in the, house, in the um, refrigerator. So I'm using what I had and what I grabbed um, on my way home a couple of days ago. So I have sweet onions. I cut up sweet onions. I already started cutting it up. Um, I cut up sweet onions. You can use red onions. I also have white onions. I'm contemplating if I'm going to cut them up in here. Charlotte's and some garlic. We grow our own organic in our own organic gourmet garlic. It is the die for. Anybody who knows me can tell you that it's outstanding garlic. I used regular mushrooms because I did have some whole mushrooms and I cut them up to um, use. Also, what I'm going to use is I'm, I'm going to put broccoli cut broccoli up in it. And I usually cut my own bell peppers, red, green, um, yellow, and orange. But again, I don't have much groceries on me. So I have a frozen bag. I always keep frozen vegetables for emergency. I'm gonna put spinach at the end on it, in it. To, you know, I'm all gonna saute all this. And I'm making it with over sobo, buckwheat sobo noodles. Oh, we love these noodles. And I'm going to pour it over a, 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 a teriyaki recipe sauce I make myself. Love it. I have it sitting here um, in my um, cookbook rack and on my uh, vitamin basket. At any rate, um, this is a quick meal I get together. I put together. I'm going to saute all this. And I will show you um, when it's done and through the process. Because I don't use oil to saute it. I put a little bit of water or vegetable broth to keep it from sticking. However, if, and I got a good non-stick pot also. But however, in some cases, um, I'm gonna show you the non-stick. Have that copper, the copper uh, plate, I mean, pot that I'm gonna saute it. The water is getting ready to boil for the sobo noodles that I'm gonna put in there. And while they're cooking, I'm gonna saute everything. And we'll see how um, the quick this meal is, it's really a quick, quick prep meal that I love. And I'm going to, um, get back to you and show you the finished product. And like I said, when you're cooking the vegetables, just add a little teaspoon of water. I will link the, in the description, the a recipe and a recipe for the Golo. It's Golo teriyaki sauce. I got it from Golo. The teriyaki sauce recipe I got from Golo. Love it. We love it. Rick love it. So we're going to use that the sauce to mix all the vegetables in it once it's cooked. And then we're going to put it over the noodles. Oh, you're talking about something to die for. Rick loves it. He okay, everyone. I'm putting the um, vegetables in the pan. And again, I'm going to um, saute it with the... Um, Frozen with the frozen with the frozen um 
strips I have for it. And you'll see, and as it, it, it gets, as it comes down and cook down, the fluid will cook it, cook the peppers down. And then I'm gonna make the, I'm gonna make the sauce on the side while everything is cooking. And this, this, this is a quick meal. Like I said, the meal is pretty much gonna be done once this is sauteed. I put it on a medium high burner so I can get it. Then I add like Himalaya salt. Himalaya salt and pepper. I got a uh, garlic pepper. I like the garlic pepper. Grind that in there while it's cooking. And the next you'll see me doing the sauce. Okay, now we're about to prepare the teriyaki sauce. I already cut up the um, um, garlic. It requires one clove of garlic, but Rick loves it saucy. So I'm gonna make it a lot of sauce. So I'm gonna make, I gave it actually like, I think I cut up three to four of the, like I said, this is the garlic we grow. And um, also I decided to put in the, um, to give it some more spice. We grow our own peppers too. The um, here red hot pot peppers. This is one of the, some of the ones that we grow. And I put some of that in the um, vegetables that's cooking. Now for the teriyaki, I put the garlic in. The next thing they ask for is the, um, it says two tablespoons of teriyaki um, tamari sauce. This is tamari sauce, but I'm going to do more because like I said, Rick loves it saucy, so I'm going to make a lot of sauce. One. Two. Three. Okay, the next is they ask for, um, okay, you could do, vegan style is maple syrup. They ask for a half a uh, teaspoon of honey or maple syrup for vegan option. Well, and here's the honey. I am going to use the honey because of the fact that I am vegan, but the honey has saved my life on certain things. I had a medical issue a couple of years ago, and um, I was going to an acupuncture, and he told me to take honey a spoonful every morning to help the digestive system so i do like honey for that purpose um i think the reason why most vegan i mean vegans don't do honey is because it comes from bees and it's a pot you know it's part of the bees you know food and they don't want to use it for that reason i don't know i'm assuming that's why they don't use honey because it actually is a bee that collects it from the it vector from the plant but um Anyway, I'm using honey because for for medical reason for it digest. But before I put the honey in there, because I don't want to get my spoon sticky, I'm gonna do the white white rice vinegar. You need rice vinegar. It adds for one and a half teaspoon. Unfortunately, I'm running out, so I'm gonna put all this in there. So left in there because um, I didn't like I said I'm not home much lately, so. I'm, I'm going to just put it all in there, which comes out to be almost four tablespoons. But remember, I'm doing a four, like four multiplied by four times. So it's supposed to be one and a half tablespoon, which should have been um, one, two, three, like four and a half for uh for this, but I did just four. So I'm a little bit shy, shy. Then they asked for grated ginger. I do usually carry grated ginger. Ginger, again, um, because I, I wasn't home, I didn't have the fresh, I usually grate it myself. So I'm using this ground ginger. I'm looking at the recipe. It asked for um, one fourth teaspoon, but since I'm doing four servings, I'm doing a whole teaspoon of ginger. And then it asks for, now I'm going to do the honey. The honey asks for one, a half a teaspoon. And again, since I'm doing four, that would be two teaspoons. So I'm going to do two teaspoons of, of um, honey. One. Two. 
Now this is a teriyaki sauce. And I got it from Golo. And I'm gonna let it drip. I like to get all the honey in there. So I lean it over the, the thing to drip in there. Um, then it's corn. Do you gotta put the, um, it says a half a tablespoon of cornstarch. Again, I'm doing more than usual. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons of cornstarch to give me that a whole lot of sauce. Cause like I said, Rick love sauce. So I'm gonna do, it says a half a tablespoon. So what I'm gonna do is do two. One. Two. Then it adds for a tablespoon of water. I'm gonna do four tablespoons of water and then I add water as it thickens, the sauce thickens. Um, also it says do salt and pepper to taste. Um, it's, it says sea salt. I do have sea salt, but I like the hemp pink Himalaya salt. It has so much um, properties in it. it. It doesn't have iodine, enough, but it has a lot of properties in it. I'm doing this uh, garlic pepper seasoned grinder. And then I'm going to take a spoon and mix that together. And Mix and make sure it's like a, it gives it a, like a, a muddy looking water. So you can see how the water, it looks like a muddy water, as you can see, see? And then I'm gonna put the two, the four tablespoon of water, then I'm gonna put it in there and let it slowly cook as it thickens. Ah, uh, drop the honey, so I gotta clean that out. So as I get, you clean, like I said, you should clean as you cook and makes it easier. And again, You'll see it all put together. Okay, I'm pouring the sauce in there. We start cooking it on the side. So what I'm going to do is pull it over the vegetables and make it really saucy again. But until it gets saucy, while the vegetables are almost done, and since the vegetables are almost done, remember I said I was going to add some. I was going to add some spinach and that's what i'm going to do now is add the spinach to give it some more give it some more meat too much that's trash now the spinach will cook down into that And like I said, while I check the sauce, the sauce is going to get thick. The noodles are on the, on the back burner, as you can see, the noodles. And like I said, I've been at this meal totally for maybe uh, 20 minutes. And it's just about ready. As soon as the sauce is done and the um, spinach cooked down, the meal is pretty much done. So when Rick get here, he'll be ready to eat. And I might cook him some, make him some homemade oatmeal cookie and me a brownie fudge brownie i'll do that recipe at another time a vegan fudge brownie because like i said the the um flaxseed act as the egg and we use plant-based milk and it's oak we make i make my own flour but i do have flour too for um different things and i'll show you that process later because when rick is out there all day cutting up wood for me for the fireplace and doing clean the uh, thing. Even though he's coming from the farm, he's still bringing the wood for for me to make sure I have wood here when I when I'm here. And um, also he's he's also um, coming with the wood for me to make sure I have some wood here to burn here because I like to save my energy by using the wood stove. So I may make him some um, cookies some oatmeal cookies because he's been out all day like I said cleaning the um, driveway for um, when I go back there and also for um, getting wood chopping wood so I'll have wood for here again I'll show you the finished product and voila I pulled the sauce in the meal Rick has just since arrived and it was just in time and like I said the total time of this was like half an hour at the most and 
he just it's he got a hot popping piping meal and as i said i added the sauce to the vegetables as you can see um let me turn it around this way make a view of it so as you can see the sauce is going to be the teriyaki sauce the noodles ready now i'm about to plate it i don't know if i'm show you the plate i'll show you the plate and this is the finished product of it. It's plated. And this is the meal. I had a quick meal I made. It took me a half an hour at the max to, for the whole prep. Please enjoy. I will link the um, recipe down in the description. And let me know what you think. Uh, thank you for joining T's Journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell. See you to the next time.